Hi, my name is Joe Crabtree. I wrote an app called Polynome, which is available on iOS. You can use it on an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod Touch. And there are some features that I built into it, which I think will be good for music teachers. So I'm going to show you how you might use this if you have students and you want to help them um, be more motivated to practice and you want to give them presets and things that are going to help them to practice. So I have some examples in here. The first one is a preset which switches between eighth notes and triplets, which is a tricky thing to master getting the timing of that exact. So if we hit play, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you can hear one, we had a bar two, of eighth three, notes four, and then a bar one, of triplets two, and then two three, bars of rest. Four, one, two, so this is three, so that they can four, hear how one, it should two, sound. Three, four, one, two, three, and then they can four, clap along. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, so that's one way that you can use Polynome. Um, another way you can use it is programming in drum grooves. So here I've programmed the Rosanna groove. And I've programmed it so in the mixer down here, I've split the right hand and the left hand and the kick so I can bring the volume of the kick down. And so we're just listening to the hands. And I could put in a click with the overlay sounds, maybe the whole triplet click. So, you know, we could send them that as something to work on. And finally, I've got a preset here called free play, which if we hit play, is just silence. So you've worked through the lesson and you want to give them some homework. So what we would do is tap this pencil icon, choose the presets we want them to work on. So that's going to be the eighth notes to triplets, the Rosanna groove and the free play. And then I'm going to tap where it says actions and choose add presets to playlist. And let's say our student's called Tim. We'll create a playlist called Tim Homework. I'm going to say Add to New Playlist. So now we have these three items that Tim's going to work on for the week. And let's say we want him to work on the eighth notes to triplets for five minutes. So you can tap this gear icon and you can choose timer and set the timer to be five minutes. Hit done. And then the Rosanna groove, let's say we want him to work on that for 10 minutes. So tap on the timer, set this to be 10 minutes. And then free play, okay, let's say um, we'll give that 15 minutes. So that's a total of half an hour of practice. And for this example, I'm actually going to set this to five seconds just so you can see how the timer works. And then at the bottom, I'm going to tap auto advance and turn that on. So that just means that it'll move to the next preset in the list when the first one's done. So you would hit the eighth note triplets, one, hit play, two, three, four, one, two, and it's going to play three, this preset four, for one, five minutes. Two, so Tim's three, going to be at four, home playing one, along to two, this, three, and when four, this one, preset two, stops, he knows three, that he's done his five minutes. And then he'll work on the Rosanna group for 10 minutes. And he might want this just as a reference to remember how the groove goes, for example, and he might hit the mute button and just play that groove or he might want to mute the groove and just have a click. Now he knows how it goes. So you can mute the groove and just have a click to practice this, maybe at different tempos. So that will stop after 10 minutes and he knows he's done his Rosanna practice. And then he's going to work on the free play. So when this timer runs out, you can see this progress bar at the bottom. At the moment, it just stops, but you can turn on in preferences countdown timer, and with that you can use Polynome just as a timer. So if you don't want to practice to a click, you just want it to time what you're playing. You play along, and when the timer runs out, you'll get a timer sound. And one cool thing is that all of these things are logged in the practice log. So we can tap down here to view the practice log, and we can click on current filters. We can tap where it says all presets and choose to view just the current playlist and make sure that the date includes today. And then we can view charts for this and we can see that this amount of time has been spent on the eighth note triplets, this amount of time on free play, this amount of time on the Rosanna groove, the date that the practice was done and how much time in total, and the different tempos that you worked on. And so this will be logged and you can go over this in the next lesson, you'll be able to see how much practice Tim has actually done and whether his improvement reflects the amount of practice. So you're saying, okay, 
this is on the teacher's iPad, that's not much use, but it's very easy to share this with the student. Just tap on the name and click on Playlist Manager, and then we can select the playlist and click Actions, Share Playlist, and I'll give it a tag name, which might be my name, Joe Lesson. And then when we hit Share, you can tap uh, any AirDrop devices. So if I have my iPhone here. So if we share with the iPhone, it imports it. And then it says, do you want to view the imports? And I can click on the homework and load it up. So Tim would go home and work on this. And when he comes back the week after, you can view the practice events and see how much practice he's done. So that's just one way that you can use Polynome if you're a teacher to help your students in terms of motivating them because they know the practice is going to be logged. So I just think it's a really good system for working with students. If you want to check it out, you'll find more information at polynome.net.